Hi guys, it's Amy from Amy's Little Bit of Everything. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Jazz hands, silk flappers, fish lips, and butterfly. If you did that with me, you are young at heart. And if you didn't, fast forward that part. You didn't need it anyways. Okay, so there we go. All right, guys, um, I've been away for a while. Um, not because I wanted to, but our water system went out. Um, we were scared to death it was going to be our well went dry, but it wasn't, thank God. We prayed for it, and that wasn't the problem, but it was the water pump, um, the ugh, everything almost. Um, you know, big money to have it repaired, but Jeff did all the work, and he got it going for us again. So we were out of water for probably three or four days, maybe. Oh my gosh, had to go to the laundromat. I had to do all that stuff. So anyways, we got it fixed. We're back in gear. So I'm hoping to get my canning going, get some videos up. And when that happens, it's like everything just goes crazy. Um, I didn't hardly get anything done. And most of the part I was running, um, you know, back and forth and helping Jeff and the neighbors. Oh, thank God for our neighbors when we lived. Um, it was just across our woods and everything. Our first place that we lived at before we moved here. And they came over, him and his dad, and they helped Jeff. And thank God for that. Or Jeff, poor Jeff. His back is about broken half. We didn't even make it to church today because I've got the headache from it being so humid out. So I'm inside. And um, I uh, he's getting carrots for me, and I'm going to work on carrots this afternoon. But in the meantime, um, I wanted to do my nails again. And I was just going to put on regular polish, you know, that I showed you the other day. And I was like, oh, I found this really pretty pink. I've not used it before. Now, all this stuff is from Timu. Um, but I'm going to use this pink. Um, yeah, it's just 001, if you can see that. I don't think they name them. But um, I'm going to use that one. And one thing I did want to go a step more than I did last time. Um, I also use sometimes a nail dehydrator and a nail primer. This is a really good set. They come together. And I don't know about prices. And if you guys see anything that you like, ask me. And if I can still link it. Because um, it's been a while since I got these. But um, if you, you know, if you see something that you like and you can't find it, ask me. And I'll try to find it for you. But anyways, I went ahead and I did my nails. I buffed them. I pushed back my cuticles. I did all that work. And then the next thing you want to do is put your dehydrator on there. Don't get it on your skin, either one. Try to get, put nothing on your skin because it makes it more, because um, sometimes people will have a re reaction on the skin. Um, but I just lightly put it on my nails. I let that dry. That's the dehydrator. And now I'm going to do the primer. The primer, I think, is the one that really burns if you get it on your skin to some people. Um, I've not had it bother me. Oh, boy. But what you're going to do is just put it on like polish. And, and I plan to only... And now my nails... I just had a shower, guys. But my nails, I have been in potatoes, green beans. I've been canning. So my nails are clean, but they look a little dingy. I don't know. I think I got stained. But anyway, start with a good clean nail. And I just, you know, put this on and it dries immediately. I mean, I give it a few, you know, a little bit, but you can see it dry. But this is just a step above um, what we did last time. This is just a procedure that will help you um, keep your nails longer, you know, on. Or your, your whatever you're putting on, even extensions, whatever you're putting on. Okay. Okay. Now, and also my next video, I am, I got my makeup over here. I'm going to do my face next. Okay, <laughs> I got my little handy dandy light over here. I cannot see in the, I mean, in here it's even dark for me because I'm like, I can't see. I got to like have it right up here and it's got to be bright and lit. So I'm going to try to turn that on. Let me put these guys back up. Yeah, they just come in this little box and I liked it because they both come together. So there's no reason to, you know, purchase one and another one. So you have everything right here. And like I said, you don't have to use this. It just helps um, keep your um, nail polish or gel nails, whatever you're putting on. It just helps keep them um, 
yeah that's still a little wet I'm gonna let that dry for a second um, helps keep your nails on longer whatever you may be using okay now I went back in my um, all my nail stuff from Timu and I found this little set that I completely forgot about I got the base coat. Well, first of all, I think we start with this. I'm going to start with this leveling leveling reinforcement gel first. I can't remember the steps. I think we want to use this one, then the base coat, and then our pink, and then the top, I think. You don't have to do this leveling, but I've got some areas that, um, well, I don't know if you won't be able to see it, but... Um, I got some like dents in my nails. I used to not have that there. You might be able to see it there. Um, and so that leveling is going to help um, make everything level, I'm hoping. And I couldn't find anything on it. I couldn't find my paper. So I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to try it for 67, 60, 67, 60 seconds on my thing and see how that works. Um, I don't know. I might go 90. Yeah, let's go 99. Okay, so what we're going to start with, I'm going to start with this leveling reinforcement. You don't need this. This is just one step more. Okay, now I'm going to bring you in here a little bit. Bring, bring you down here. Okay. Turn my, oh, wrong light. I'm hoping that helps. I don't know if it does or not. All right, let's try it. I think what nail would be... Oh, see how stained my nails are? Oh, I hate that. But there's really nothing I can do about it. And that is from the blue gel that I couldn't get off, and it's underneath my nail. Let's do this dirty nail right here. <laughs> this one right here. Or wait, no. I want to do one over here. Sorry about that. Let's do... Oh, I can do this one. This one looks good. It's got the stain underneath it. Oh, boy. But let me just, I have not used this leveling. I got the, oh yeah, it's nice and thick. Hoping you guys can see it because I can't hardly see you very well. And you don't want a big old glob. You just want it a little layer. You just want to make sure that it's leveling. And see, it just makes it, I don't know if you can see that. It just puts a little level in there. And that's probably the nail that I'm going to show you guys. Oh, gosh, I hope that's not too bright. Let's pop you back up here. All right, and then, and I'm only going to use one coat on them. And then we'll do the base. And I don't even know if these are UV lights. The, the writing on the back is not readable. And I didn't go online and check it out. This light makes me look old. Oof. The sun doesn't help it. Oh, gosh, does the sun make me feel good, guys? Wish this was a tanning light. Mm. I used to... Did you guys grow up in tanning beds? I don't know if people still really get in the tanning beds like they used to. Oh, my gosh. In the 80s, when I was a teen in high school, I mean, it was just like almost every day I mean I had to be dark and I loved it I was a cheerleader and I always had to you know we always had to have our cheerleading outfits I wanted my legs dark I wanted my arms dark my face dark I lived at those things I should have worked there probably would have made a million bucks but I had a friend who worked there and I was always going in and seeing her and getting a tan but um yeah I was in tanning booths. And now I don't know if people tan like they do. I know people around me that are older. They do a lot of the um, spray tans. So I don't know if anybody on here tans anymore with tanning beds. I even owned a tanning bed when I got older. And whenever I started nursing, I was like, you know what? I'm going to afford me a tanning bed. And by golly, I did. Okay, now let me see. Oh, it did. It dried it. Okay, but don't... It doesn't dry it completely. All right, so we got that on. So now we're going to take our base coat. And I hope I'm doing it right in order, guys. I'm sure it has to be because that's your leveling. And then you're going to put your base coat on for your polish. 
So I know this has to be the steps. If I find out any different, I love this stuff, guys. If you want to do gels, and if my nails weren't stained so bad, I would love, I think I get the slide over here. Um, I would love um, just doing the base coat and have it shiny. Okay, there's the base. Move that over here and put that in there. Um, yeah. Anyways, oh, I did get a, I did get a little tan light from Timu, and it came in, and I haven't used it yet. And I know if Jeff sees it, he's gonna be like, "You don't need that." But I just thought, you know, when I'll really enjoy it is like in the winter when we haven't had sunshine for a while, and it's been snowing. Oh, and guys, this stuff don't burn. Sometimes the other stuff burns. Um, but, um, I just feel like it'll feel so good. And you guys, I was going to try, I had any one of these colors, but everything dark made me think more fall. So I was like, ah, let's go pink. I think this makes me think of summer. And if I really like that, I think I might put it on my toes. My blue polish was gel that I put on my toes. Let's see. It lasted. Hmm. almost two weeks and I soak them in the pool. I'm in the pool. I mean, I didn't get out today. It's just too hot for me today, but um, I'm in the pool. If not every day, every other day. And um, yeah, so you know, my feet are a lot in water and sandals and everything, but, um, but yeah, it's almost was two and a half. So I'm going to use these extra step. It's going to be an extra step and I'm going to hate it. But if it lasts longer, if I could get two weeks out of it, that's fine with me. So, but anyways, and what, it, this is only going to seem longer to you guys because I have it on, I'm just doing this one nail, but see my little light, it will take four of my nails if I put them in like that. And then the thumb's the only one that you have to do separate or, or you can do it like this with thumbs and then you can get both of your thumbs. All right. And the light was from Timu. I think this light was a couple of dollars. And it works just fine. All right. Now we got our base, our leveler base coat. Now it's time for the polish. I don't know. I may have to put, may have to put more layers on here, guys, because, oh, let me get a little tool out. Um, because I thought that was darker. Can you guys see? Oh, shoot. Hope you can see me putting on there. I can barely see the camera. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna clean that off. Clean anything off before you cure it under the light. And then you'll have all nice and neat, neat nails. Okay, I think that one's good. My, my light is going bad. Okay, let's go ahead and put that one in. I think my flashlight's going bad. Let me see if I got it on the wrong setting or something. No, no, but I need it. It's not really helping me at all at this point. Jeff took the good one. He took the one that had the new batteries in it. Oh, poor guy. He's been working so hard on our um, water system. And it was everything. Um... The water system we had, and thank God it wasn't our well. That's when it gets it. Jeff said it could have cost me twelve, fifteen thousand if we had to do a new well. So this was a couple thousand. So, but we just replaced everything. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought of what I was going to say um, about him working. You know, his back about broke in half, and thank God for our neighbors. Um, there was something else I was going to say about it, but okay. But then I thought after I did this, I'm going to go ahead and do my nails. I'm going to, I wanted to show you this one because I wanted to show you that I do sometimes use the dehydrator and the primer. And then I wanted to show you the extra steps of, oh shoot, I don't have any alcohol. Um, I'm gonna, I'll have to put you on hold to do the final step with the alcohol. But, um, still got 20 minutes on this finger. But I like doing four fingers because then I put four in there and then I like doing both of my thumbs. So it's really nice doing it that way because it is quicker. 
So, and remember on your last top coat, I've had so many people do, don't get the last step. You use, um, I just use like a alcohol swab or al it's in the little package that you tear open. And that'll have to be your final step for your top coat or you will have, or you'll be sticky. Some people use other things. I just always use a little bit of alcohol. That's kind of what how I was taught to do. Mm, that's pretty. I really like gel. Um, and you got to have time. You can't do it in a hurry. See, it's getting darker. I think I'm going to use um, three coats. Okay, but after this, I know that's an odd setting. But after this, guys, I'm going to do um, my makeup. And I'm going to do it. It's in this little thing right here. And I'm going to use everything that came in here. Nothing extra, nothing, you know. I'm going to try to use every step. Now, I don't know how good this be. I don't know if it'll show my wrinkles more than normal. <laughs> I'm hoping not. <laughs> maybe I'll put it on and, I mean, maybe I'll love it. Um, I don't wear a lot of makeup like I used to. Um, I used to wear makeup all the time. But since I've gotten sick and I take a lot of medicines, I sweat a lot. Plus, when I first got sick, I was still going through menopause. Now, I think I'm kind of over it. Every now and then, I'll get hot, but not as bad as what I used to. But, um, but yeah, I'm hoping that I can get back. Maybe this fall. I can't do it during the summer. I get too sweaty. But, so, I'm really going to be inside. So, I thought I'll go ahead and do my makeup. And then, I'll go ahead and do my try-on video. Because I got to get those clothes. There's dresses in there that I'm wanting to wear. I told Jeff, I said, no, I can't. And plus, I got to clean up that room. I got like two boxes in there. They're not big boxes, but enough for me to be like, yeah, you got to do a video, Wayne. So, anyways. But I like to do, I mean, sometimes I will do my um, nails at my desk. Sometimes I come in here like I've got my big screen TV in front of me. Um, Bear, believe it or not, is in laying in the other room. He's hot, too. He's been out with Jeff. But um, he's laying in the other room. Cujo, I usually have him sitting in his little chair, and he loves it because then he's got his eye on me. But, um, oh, that went off. But, um, oh, you guys, I'm really liking this. I think I'm going to do my toes this color. But um, I will do it sometimes in here just because, you know, I don't know. It gives me, I usually have YouTube on and watch TV and, you know, cheat that way. When you do that, when you cap the end like that, go back over this because sometimes you will, um, let me make sure I got that side. Um, sometimes you will, um, oh, shoot, hold on. Just what I thought. I thought I missed that right there. And, and normally, um, I do not have patience. I used to have the patience. I think that'll be good. That's three coats. That's pretty. Okay. Um, I used to have the patience of Job in the Bible. But once I got sick and I got that fatigue, ugh, I'm like, I don't have patience anymore. I try to. Oh, maybe I better save my light while I'm talking. Um, yeah, that light's not working very good. So, what I put on there? Did I put three coats? Yeah, that's pretty. Mm. I may have to fix it. It looks like I got... Mm. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Looks like I got... Hold on, guys. Well, what is that? Okay. Okay. It didn't cure all the way, but i got to start all over again. Or, not all over again. Well, yeah, i got to start all over again. Um, what was I saying, guys? Help me. I love doing videos. It's just trying to find the time. And since we had, oh, my gosh, since we had um, water issues. Oh, my gosh. You guys, you really don't know how water affects you in every way. Because you can't bathe. You can't do laundry. That's what was building up for me and Jeff, because we still had that storm. We never got recovered from that storm with all the laundry we had, and 
and and the canning the stuff is out there to be canned and jeff was like what do you want me to do and i'm like well i can't lose it and then finally i was like well if we can't um do it here if you don't get the water fixed because each time he thought he got it fixed and it was like nope 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 and so then we finally got it and so now it's like I finally ended up going to the laundromat because once I got done, I didn't want to have to wash everything in the washer because then I was like, I don't want to do all that because it's going to take me forever because I had towels, you know, towels and clothes that we would wear and then throw in a pile, building up. And usually I am like a laundry freak. I usually have laundry going every day. I mean, it's just me and Jeff here, but I, I just do it. And if it's a small load, I just put it on a small load. I get it done, and then because my my laundry baskets would be like almost empty. Well, I wasn't used to have piles of laundry. <laughs> I was like, ah. and that's when I'm feeling good. When I feel good, I try to get all my stuff done. Because the days that I don't feel good, I don't do anything. Okay, guys. Now we're almost done with this video. Here's top coat. I think that light helps a little bit. I love you guys. If you want to try gels, do this gel system because I love this leveling. It is really good. And remember, if you have a bad nail, you can use this as um oh um like say if you didn't even want to put a polish on, you could use this as just a builder. Um, because I've done that before where you're trying to build a nail. You could even, say you don't have gel polish, but if you got these little, this little set, put those on, then it, make sure you dry it, but then um, put your, um, your regular polish on, make sure it's dry with the light, then put your regular polish, you've got to make sure that is completely dry, and then um, put the top coat on it, and there you go. You can still use all your regular polish. Now, I'm going to have to turn you off for a minute. All I'm doing is sitting under the light. I'm going to let this get done, and I'm going to go get me an alcohol pad. I'll be right back. I'm back. All right, so I got done doing this now, and it looks pretty good. Underneath looks real good, and the only thing is this will be really sticky. So you take an alcohol. You can do, get these through Timu also. I sometimes get them for at the Dollar Tree. I think it's like 50 for a dollar 25 it might be 50 i'm not for sure guys um but then you take because this would be still sticky so if you touch it now or didn't do it and then i mean you'd mess it all up and it will it'll never dry so you take this you go over it and that was a pretty good dry because we didn't even have anything on our alcohol pad and then there you go there you go i love it i love it doing um your nails this way is so nice and then you guys and then if you touch something you're not gonna mess it up so like if i go who oh, look see that stain under there it's working from the garden and stuff i know some of you will say wear gloves i do and then my hands get hot and then i get rid of them but, um, yeah, I like gels because that is so smooth on top. And see how level it made it? But you could have done it as thick as you want it. I don't want mine very thick when I'm looking down it like this. Um, I want it to be thinner. And um, always cap your nails. Did I cap that side? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it'll be fine. But always cap them. Cap them is getting them at the bottom or at the tip. And um, then your polish. Oh, my arthritic hand. I want that finger to go that but um but yeah you cap it and then it'll keep it a little longer i don't know how much longer because it depends on people it depends on how everybody does their nails so i am going to end my video here um, i'm going to finish up my nails then i'm going to go ahead and do my toenails because i don't like my toenails without polish <laughs> so and this is the best stuff man because the other day i did my toenails i wiped them with the alcohol pad and then bear came and stepped on my foot if I would have had regular polish on, I would have been so mad because he would have put his print on there. But since I was doing them with this gel polish, it was already dry. So I was like, ah! And then I thought, oh, yeah, I don't have to worry about it. All right, guys. All right, so I'm going to finish my nails. And then, oh, yeah, 
finish my nails, do my makeup, and then we'll do a try on. And um, this will be on all three uh, three different videos because if I go over 30 minutes, it takes forever to download it. And then sometimes I run into problems, say that it can't download anything, and then I, and then I'm scared I'm lose, gonna lose my video. So if I think if I can keep them 30 minutes or less. That's completely fine with me. I hate it for some of you guys who say, oh, but we like to watch, you know, um, longer videos. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. It's too hard to download them. Um, and I don't know if it's because we live out in the country and it just takes a lot. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's where I sit. And I wanted it to be like a little peaceful area with my little tree and my light on. Yep. I was trying to think, was there anything else that, um, oh, and my, I like always getting these from the Dollar Tree for $1.25, um, you, cause you got this little lid, and then I've refilled this many of time, and then you push on this, and the, um, the, um, it comes out. Um, I, I didn't know, I know some people use, um, acetone to wipe off that sticky, I don't know. I've always used alcohol. Um, you can even get some in the spray bottle and spray it, and then wipe it with a wipe it with one of these. Um, you don't want to do a cotton ball. You want to do one of these um, oh pads that are oh what do you call that? Um, oh, it's lint free. So use one of that. Spray on the alcohol and then wipe it off. And I've even put alcohol in these and pump down and do that. That even might be cheaper. So, but I happen to have these little pads from the Dollar Tree. All right, Jeff is in here and I bet you he's got me some carrots. So um, we'll have to be starting that shortly. So you put a smile on your face, put a smile on somebody else's face. It's a win-win situation. Who wouldn't want more smiles and polish? I know I do and I know you do too. All right, guys, you have a God blessed day and be kind, stay humble. And, um, oh yes, and Barbara Webb finally got a hold of me, and I finally got a hold of her. I apologize, it was me more than her, because um, we were dealing with our water, and I explained everything. But she should be getting her package soon, so I'm hoping to hear from her soon, and tell me how much she likes her stuff. And maybe when we do that, I will go over some of the stuff that I got for her. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you later. Bye.